We're putting in the landscaping. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Well, welcome back, everybody. We're here in episode 16, and no big projects today, but we've got a whole lot of little ones that we'd like to take care of. Looks like the sun is coming up over our village. We've started to lay out some paths here to get our make our way over to the flower shop. That we would you be guys be quiet i'm trying to film here uh to make our way over to the flower shop here that we built in the last episode now you see the taboo that i committed there we got to make sure to take those dirt blocks out and put some wood underneath there we go now we can make our way right up here and i'm thinking that needs to go that needs to go that that's How'd that happen? Hmm. 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 Is right. I said, hmm. Is right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So, making our way up here, you notice I created some new uh, barrels up here with a few of our items in here. Put a few more over there. And, oh, I know what we need to do up here. Again, this is random day. Uh, let's see. We need to get up here. One, two, three. And I forgot to put flowers up here. I wanted to mix these up just a little bit. Uh, put some azure bluets there. That's good. Maybe we'll do. No, that looks good there. I think maybe we'll switch that one out for another yellow. Why is there a bee in the house? Apparently he's stuck. Okay, let's make our way back down, and I don't know if there's a way to get him out. I guess we need a lead, but I don't have a lead on me right now. Okay, I mixed up the flowers over here. I put all the colored flowers. Hi! Oh, I can lead you this way. Come on, I have a flower. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. This way. This way. Oh, look. Home. Home. Go home. Go home. Home. You... You be? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're just gonna leave you here, there, pretend like nothing happened. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. What was I saying? Oh, we got all the colored flowers here. So, let's see. Let's add some of these up in here. Got a few more poppies because our poppy farm makes tons and tons of poppies. Okay, then if we come up here to the second floor, something I noticed when I was re-watching the video is if we sit over here, well, that's boring, right? So, let's see what we can do about that. Let's try something here. Let's put a shelf. All right, there. Ooh, that's a little low, but let's try it. Okay, no, we can make it. And what if we do that, that, and that? Ooh, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Maybe this painting needs to move. Uh, maybe news move down one. Hmm. Now we need something to go up there, right? That's the next step. So maybe some more books. Yeah, that's good. And maybe an important chest. What about an ender chest? No, let's just put a chest. So we're going to put a chest right there. That's where we're going to put the chest. And then we need some flower pots, but I am fresh out of flower pots. So I think that's all we're going to put up there. But that's a good start. That's I think we're, we're well... On, do I have anything in here? Nope. Okay, we are well on our way. We have lighting up there. Anything else I can add? Nope, I think that looks good. So we'll keep that. If you have suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as I make my way out here to the very noisy wandering trader, let's see what else there is to do. No, 
Uh, here's another project I would like to work on. Uh, you notice, and I didn't notice this when I first... Oh, they're being, they're being noisy. Let's head outside here. Uh, this was something I didn't notice when I put this farm together, and that is that all of these sheepies, you can't tell what color they are when they're shorn. Uh, okay, you guys are not loud. And they're all shorn constantly. Because as soon as they eat that grass and grow their coat back, they get shorn. And so in order to figure out what color they are, I have to actually open up the chest. And notice we're getting tons upon tons of wool here. We're doing just great. So, I think what we need to do... I was thinking we could take wool and maybe put a piece of wool here, but that would mess up the... The pathway. Uh, we could put a piece of wool above them, but I think that'd look kind of weird. So, what if we change the color of the glass for the color of the sheep? So what that means is we need to go get 16 dyes. Uh, actually, we need to get 16 dyes, then we need to dye 16 stacks of glass, and or at least 16 sets of eight glass. Uh, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, after mixing up a few little dyes, we have a full inventory with every color that we need of glass. Now we only need two of each, but it's a good start. So let's head over here and get this glass replaced. But not least, the brown sheep. And there we go. We've got all the colors in here, and now we know exactly what kind of sheep we're looking at. And actually, I've got one more idea. There we go. Not only do we have the glass now, but we've got a piece of wool right behind their head. Uh, we can look in there and see exactly what color is in the chest without having to look. And now I think I've collected all the glass up from in here. Listen to those shears go. Oh, there's a couple more glass. And I think that does it. Much better. Now, as we turn back toward the mansion, which still looks a little uneven, we do need to add that wing at some point. I want you to notice we've got some cliffs here. Well, maybe you can't see it because of the trees, but these nice little cliffs right here along the edge don't keep going. No, no, we've got all this ugly mess over here. So I think that's the next thing we're gonna do, which is clean up this ugly mess. Here is our cliff face right up here, and what we want to do is create a nice little uh, railway, a fence, if you will, up at top. But first, let's start building a pathway. 
Uh oh, gotta do something about that. Actually, some of it might be nice. Looks like dirt. You see how the pathway narrows here. We're gonna have to enlarge that, maybe toss How about that? How's that work? Okay. And we'll go. Pew, pew. Yeah, that'll probably be okay. We'll mess with that. How'd that happen? <laughs> I meant to right click. Now the next thing we need, we strangely do not have enough of, and that is cobblestone. Uh, seems we've done a good bit of mining of stone, but we haven't been doing it with a fortune axe. So we're going to make our way up here and make ourselves some cobblestone. Wow, what a view. Nice. Okay, let me grab a couple more materials, and we're going to start building ourselves a fence. Here we have something that looks a little bit more complete, looks a little bit more like it has a foundation. You'll notice we've got the cliff side going all the way around here through the tree farm. Nice and broken up and we're going to come around the back here. You're going to see where I didn't finish it. See there's the underneath. But if we come up on top, what you'll see is the incomplete side of the side of the mansion but we've begun to create a nice little pathway through here uh, i started uh, aging the building a little bit adding some additional blocks in there to break up uh, the stone block but then we've got this nice little path with trees and lanterns and every so often there is uh, a little bench that you can sit on and look out over our lovely village. We've even done a little bit of work up here at the top of the stairs. Notice we finally have a doorway. Now it's not going into anything. If you open the door it just goes into our our big basement, but it's a doorway and that's a step in the right direction. We've got a couple just real simple custom trees in planters here in the front just to fill out this space added a few flowers. Actually, I just bone mealed the ground a little bit. Uh, let me show you how to do that. Uh, just take some bone meal. Well, you know how to bone meal the ground, but if you do this, then you get a lot of this long grass. So what you do is you go through and you thin it out. You pick, uh, let's take that one out, that one out, that one out, uh, yep, that one, and that one. Just thin it out a little bit and there you go. You got a nice little garden area. Something else we could do here, I didn't even think about this, but we could put, there you go. We could put some hedges right there. I don't know if I like that, but it's a step in, well, it's a step in a direction. Let's say that. Is that about right? There we go. It's not exactly even. But there you go. Let's play around with that idea and see where it takes us. What if we go uh, from here, take it back, and from here, we, yeah, we'll take this one back too. So we'll go like this, maybe one more there, and like that. So they're not exactly even. Actually, I don't like these two sticking out front. So we are going to take them back. In fact, what we're going to do... Let's go like that, there, there, and 
there. Okay, not exactly even, but that's good. You've got a nice little, you can see the flowers through the leaves. Uh oh, looks like it's time to sleep. And that gives you a little bit of a little space there. Take out that poppy. And we can even take that poppy and put that poppy right there. Okay, not bad. We're beginning to, uh, we're, it's beginning to come together. So let me go sleep and we will get on to the next thing. Well, the next thing largely involves this path we have right here out to the Piglin bartering farm and the gold farm and the hogland farm because this is a solid block, I believe. And every once in a while when I'm out here, hoglins and piglins and zombified piglins spawn on here. And I'm sure it's messing with the rates in our farms. So now you understand why I needed carpet so badly. I thought we would go with a nice purple because that seems to be the color that all the new nether woods and things go with. Even the black stone has a little bit of purple in it. So here we go. I'm going to make my way down here. And you'll notice soul speed still works on top, even if there's carpet on the soul sand. So let me make my way down to the end. And I'll be right back. Even with six stacks of carpet, six stacks of wool, we were not able to make enough carpet. Oh, we just had a little bit more to go. Well, that's okay. Let's head back to the base, and I've got one more thing I want to do with carpet. I've been wanting to add some carpeting. Some carpeting to the mansion. So let's work on the main room here for the rest of the episode. I think I'm going to go with this uh, black around the outside and this cyan and red. I kind of like it. It's muted. I tried adding in a little white, but to be honest, the white was just way, way too bright in this room. And I think this allows for a little bit more mutedness, uh, but it does bring some color uh, to the wood in this room. There's a lot of wood, a lot of stone in this room, and it needs some color. So let me see. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring the color all the way out and just fill the room with it, but let me play around and I will be right back. So after a little while of playing around, we came up with this. And you know what? I think I like it. I, it's going to have to grow on me. You notice I took out the uh, the black around the edges. It was just, just too dark. Um, then we uh, I carried the checkerboard pattern all the way to the edges, and that wasn't quite right. So we tried thickening some of the red, and I think that does the trick. You let me know what you think in the comments, but that certainly adds a good, good bit of color to this room now. Now all we have to think about is what color carpeting we're going to put in the library and you notice see how the library is so wood forward this really tames that down and i like it now you notice i also did some details uh came in and i brought some more stone brick around the edges of the stairway uh here even did some uh topped it up there actually that could use a uh, stair brick right there and um brought that all the way around i hid some lighting underneath the carpets so if you uh, hey buddy thanks for visiting uh, so if you bring up some of the carpet you will see that there is lighting underneath there so we got rid of the torches which is wonderful we won't have any more mobs spawning down here and i think that's gonna do it for this episode hey thanks so much for watching Appreciate uh, you coming along on this adventure as we did some of these chores today. Yeah, they were chores, but they were important things that make this world look so much better. 
In fact, as we close, let's just take one more look out here because I can't tell you how nice it is to look down on that front yard and have it all landscaped. We're starting to get some paths in. We're gonna need to improve those, clean those up. We won't just leave them as dirt paths and uh, prettify them. And this village is really coming together, so I'm excited. Thanks again for being a part of this episode, and we'll see you in the next one.